There's news now that Tesla has started trial production of the upgraded Model 3 Highland at Tesla's Fremont, California factory. While this revised Model 3 has already been launched in China, Europe, and other countries, we have all been anxiously waiting for its launch here in the US. Many of us have been concerned that there will be extensive downtimes of production lines. But today, we're hearing that could it be that retooling might have already been done. So today, we've got Hans Nelson joining us. Thank you so much, Hans. Appreciate you coming on with me. Yep. Excited to be here. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Talk about the Model 3 Highland here that all of us have been, many of us Tesla retailers have been having fun. When do we think that the Model 3 Highland is going to be delivered here in the U.S.? January, February, March, or later. So the question is, why Why are you so confident it's going to happen in the first quarter? It could happen second quarter. And the answer by 861 votes is it's going to happen in March. And in fact, uh, even later than that. But Robert Scoble, who is a well-known uh, kind of AI enthusiast, uh, he's been known in the tech world for decades here. He replied, says, I learned from a Tesla employee at the Fremont factory on Friday that they've already retooled. Expect an announcement in January and on the market by March. So this is Robert. He's heard some, you know, he's very credible. So when he, he's very well connected with a lot of the tech um, uh, experts in the in Silicon Valley. So when he says something like this, I believe him that this is true. Now, of course, this Tesla employee could mean anything. So there could be misinterpretation. And then Matthew Donegan Ryan, said that there's, uh, there's been a spotting of this refresh Model 3 here in the U.S. Now, these ones that they've been spotted in the U.S. here, they're Shanghai badges, uh, but the VIN shows it was built in Fremont. Okay, that's the factory designation in the, in the VIN of that car. Many, maybe we'll see deliveries in Q1. So this is, uh, you know, the, these are the cars being spotted here in the U.S. already. So are they already out there? Yeah. Picks from this guy named Yu Vang uh, 2003. So, uh, but yeah, as soon as sort of that's sort of how this all happened, but now there's actually real f information here that the Tesla had already begun trial production of the upgraded Model 3 at the Fremont factory. So, as we know, we've already launched the Model 3 in these markets, China, Europe, and others. It's only being made at Genga Shanghai. And then have this, but as we've been saying, that these Model 3s have been spotted driving on the roads in the U.S., but, you know, have they been started to do this? And could was this something that uh, Tesla is just kind of, uh, you know, uh, camouflaging because they've added engineering vehicle decals to, the side, decals to the side, like this one was spotted in the last week. What do you think, Hans, before I share the rest of the news here? Yeah, so one of the things that we with the production and delivery numbers that we got this morning. Um, it's kind of a surprise to the downside on production, specifically production, you know, deliveries were good. Um, and it one of the things that makes sense to me is that they have already um, cut the production of Model 3 in Fremont specifically. You know, we don't know when they lump together three and why what the split is. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me. And, you know, it seems like with this evidence that they did go ahead and shut down Model 3 production to start this retool over. And then the other thing that we know from the speed with which Shanghai um, switched over from the traditional Model 3 to the, the updated um, Highland model was very, very fast. And so it would not surprise me if we actually are getting to volume production on Highland out of Fremont sometime towards the end of January, beginning of February, and then, you know, potentially starting deliveries anywhere from mid-February on to the end of the quarter, um, just depending on how they want to manage that overall changeover. Um, but it seems like just from all of the evidence, not only these vehicles that we're seeing, um, but also in, in vehicle delivery and production numbers, that it looks like this is something that's very feasible. Okay, so let's take a look at um, how true this is. So first of all, there's this, uh, again, there's just more and more of these photos coming up. And this is the Model 3 um, that has China decals on it. And so they think that maybe this was just kind of uh, flown in from Shanghai, right? The Model 3 with the Chinese Tesla badge on it. Uh, but it appears, this the article says, it appears Tesla has been throwing us all off the scent because Fremont has already begun trial production 
of the Model 3. Now, it's unclear how many units of the new Model 3 have been built at Fremont, but there's a photo that's being shared in Reddit that there's at least a dozen units in the parking lot inside the Fremont factory. We can only see the trunk lids of four of these vehicles and only two have the Chinese Tesla badge, one of which we can see the engineering vehicle decal. So here's so many of these at the Tesla factory. And then uh, according to Tesla Scope, which has access to the data, uh, the software data, Fremont production includes the Model 3 performance, suggesting all three variants will be available when the new Model 3 launches in North America, which should happen in Q1. What do you think? Are these credible sources? Yeah. So do you think that tooling has already happened in Fremont? Because we were all expecting there was going to be a downtime, just like they happened in Shanghai. And now here we're hearing quite a bit of rumors here that maybe we don't need to wait. They've already been doing this as we move along. Yeah, I'd be curious to know exactly what tooling entails here. I would I would definitely expect that they have started to install tooling. Now, have they switched over all tooling that's necessary to go to the Highland? Maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, I would say with 100% certainty that there is already at least a portion of the tooling that's needed that's installed. And then the question is, you know, how much is left in order for them to be completely retooled? Um, and it wouldn't surprise me if they're close at this point in time. I, at this point, I wish that I remembered what the timeline was because we did start to see these, you know, Highland vehicles kind of testing there in the lot outside of Shanghai. Um, and so it'd be interesting to kind of take the timeline where we saw those vehicles um, first being spotted in Shanghai to when delivery started and kind of get an idea of what that was there. And then we can use that as a basis, but I would expect it still to be shorter. I would think that the, the process in Fremont is uh, going to take less time than the process in Shanghai just because they've already been through it. And they also know that, you know, this is one where we don't need to be a bunch of rumors for a long time before they actually get the whole changeover executed and get those new models rolling off the line. Yeah, you know, the reason I'm so excited about this is that I, one of the things I'm worried about for 2024 was that there's going to be production downtimes required for the Model 3 Highland here in the U.S. And then there's going to be potentially mo uh, Model Y um, uh, downtimes Juniper. for this revised, yep. yeah, it's revised model. And I was like, oh my gosh, the, you know, here we go again. You know, are we going to hit our 2.4 million um, target? Or we'll we'll see what Tesla says is the target 2.2 million maybe, but uh cars for the year but now you know this is good news if there is less downtime required if this is truly true then <laughs> truly true if this yep. is really what happens then um, that'll be good um because the model well, and i did like a, yeah the fact that they are having all three you know the the performance the long range and the rear wheel drive so having all of those be available again will be great um, especially since, you know, right now it seems like with the loss of the IRA for the Model 3 that the price difference between a Model 3 and a Model Y is way too close um, for comfort. And so, you know, it just makes so much sense at this point to go ahead and upgrade to the Model Y. I think that they might actually leave that in place for the time being to basically short change demand for the Model 3 while they make this changeover. And that hopefully either they'll make a pricing update or preferably, you know, what I'm hoping to see is that they figured out a way to actually make the Highland Model 3 out of Fremont eligible for the IRA tax yeah. credits again, too. So, you know, yeah. we'll just have to wait and see. But um, that would be great if that's possible. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you, because that uh, we're going to lose the IRA instant credit in January, uh, which happened now, right? <laughs> it's available yep. now. Uh, but we're gonna we've lost it for the uh, the two variants of the Model Three. Now Highland comes, maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're gonna change it so that they can uh, uh, it could be eligible for those IRA credit. I'm no longer IRA. They're not tax credits anymore. They're IRA rebates immediately off mm -hmm. the sticker price. So I have to stop saying IRA credits. The IRA rebates at this point. Um, okay, good. So this is the Model 3 Highland coming to the U.S. Good news. We'll see if this is true. But um, again, as always, whenever you see sightings like this, more often than not, uh, you know, we're sniffing it out uh, sooner than, than not. Thank you so much, Hans. Follow him as on YouTube channel, Hans C. Nelson. Thanks, everybody.
Bye bye. I've created a website that is the most comprehensive resource for the Tesla investor. Please check it out. Simply go to my website at herbertong.com.